Hi, I'm Lee Stone and this is your Maxi Forex Week in Review. Let's begin the day by taking a look at the last week's risers and fallers. The Euro-US dollar pair traded mixed and ended up slightly down on the week, dropping 0.33% with the pair last trading at 139.27. Across the channel, the British pound fell nearly 2% versus the dollar, closing the week at 156.80. The dollar and the yen traded back and forth, finishing the week slightly negative at minus 0.1%. The pair was last trading at 81.36. The dollar had a fine week against a neighbor to the north. The Canadian dollar fell 1.5% against a greenback and closed Friday at 102.69. Oil had several big swings this week, including a 4.3% drop on Tuesday. Surprisingly, though, oil managed to remain up half a percent and closed at $81.69 a barrel. Gold had big drops on Tuesday and Thursday, which saw the precious metal lose 3.4% for the week, closing at $1,324 an ounce. In news, the Group of 20 Nations got underway in South Korea this week. The meetings are set to end today and have been largely focused on the global economic recovery and on measures that can be taken to ease trade tensions. One of the main discussions, of course, has been how to avoid a currency war or aggressive actions by individual nations in the foreign exchange market. In other news, the pound declined for its sixth week versus the euro and dropped against other major currencies. This news comes as concerns mount that the Bank of England will engage in asset purchasing, a measure otherwise known as quantitative easing. And speaking of quantitative easing, the dollar rallied some this week, rebounding against most of the major currencies, which also caused gold futures to have their biggest weekly decline since July. For more on this, let's go now to analyst Martin Smith. Hello Martin, how are you? Very well, thank you, Lee. So the dollar had shown some signs of life this week. Mm. Uh, can you tell us about that? Well, let's start out with the dollar index, um, which has gone up 0.4% since October the 15th. Now, this follows a 3.8% drop since September 21st, when the US Federal Reserve indicated it was prepared to provide additional support for the recovery, as in quantitative easing. The dollar's been consistently dropping against the majors until this week, but a few bad days in the stock market and perhaps the G20 summit had some positive effects on the price of the currency. Now, you mentioned some quantitative easing. Mm. Uh, has there been any criticism of this program? Well, mixed sentiment, I'd say, uh, as to how helpful it's been uh, for the dollar. Some analysts in the U.S. are saying that declining dollar could have negative effects down the road, where perceptions of the greenback's long-term value could come into question. Uh, while they may be good for the recovery efforts in the short term, there remains a large question of what will, the view will look like when all the dust settles. Well, I hope it looks good. Uh, so let's go to our Ask the Broker question mm. of the day. Uh, Joseph Alcala of Newport Beach, California mm. writes, Was the drop in the euro-dollar pair a one-week occurrence, or can, can we be expecting more of the same? Mm. Well, that's a tough call, um, because speculators and analysts seem to be split on this one. Uh, with further quantitative easing, we can expect the dollar to decline further. Uh, the Fed has not indicated whether or not this will happen, but the groundwork seems to have been laid and it's likely to happen soon. Uh, metal futures such as copper are on the rise, which would indicate that investors are expecting the dollar to continue dropping. But as Mark Chandler of Brown Brothers Harriman put it, the euro is a crowded trade. Sentiment and positioning indicate that we may be seeing a drop in the euro. If I had to guess, I'd say that in the short term, the dollar will resume declining, but I think the bleeding has almost stopped. Expect the long-term prognosis for the dollar to be much healthier than its current state. Oh, thank you very much, Martin. Well, we hope you enjoyed our weekly review, and we hope you'll join us next week. Until next time, be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.